Um, so Brock Wilbur. Brock I, uh, I like both of his names. Brock's a got a great set of names. Two, two uh, potential first names. Brock both is good. a Brock is a funny one because it's it's as if they knew that he would be the size he is when he was yeah. born. Yeah. They're like this baby's gonna be Brock. Right. And he will grow into it, and it will make sense. Yeah. Yeah, and Wilbur, just in case he was tiny. Yeah, Wilbur in case. Yeah. Yeah, just hedge their bets. They just... If you've never seen us host a show before, we do a little segment. Uh, uh, it's a recurring segment. It's called Evan Tries to Get Better at Crowd Work. Evan is just not very good at crowd work. We like to give him an opportunity to improve uh, his skills, and so we're gonna do that. We're gonna take this opportunity right now uh, to do that. So, so before, without further ado, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Evan tries to get better at crowd work. All right, we're doing a comedy show. Hey, everyone, how's it going? Hey, sir, how how are you? Good. Hey, what's that guy doing right behind you? Look right over there. Hey, the show's up here, asshole. All right. That's a common hey. mistake he makes. Dude, where are you from? Get back there! It's okay. He um, didn't even listen to what the man said. He didn't what he, even... Whoa, look at these, look at these, uh, look at those speakers. If they fell... Uh-oh. So this is what Evan does when he just panics completely. He just starts obser observing things around the room and then relating them to his to earthquake preparedness. Look at... Look at... Find a place to hide, just in case. Now he is actually having a stroke. That's then, what's going on. And then everybody... There's a mic back in the center of the room. Somebody should stand on a table and talk throughout Brock's set. What a gag. Don't... Okay, now this is the least... This is my least favorite part of Evan tries to get better hey, at crowd. Hey, ma'am, right over there. How many beers are on your table? You can't drive. Okay. That's All right. Not... Who's drunker than she is? Raise your hand. Who's drunker than she is? Make out on a couch somewhere. Let's all pile into that walk-in freezer. <laughs> and then huddle for warmth. Uh, I mean, that's actually... That's that pretty sounds good. fun. That sounds kind of fun. All right. Hey, turn on that TV. You, ma'am. Ah, you're you know, worthless. No, he's just trying there to tell people to do things they're not allowed to do. All right, uh, I think that was about enough time. You're not going to improve tonight. I'll give you some notes uh, on the car ride home. Uh, there was a, a zinger in there. There was a zinger in there. <laughs> You're right. I found out that I'm a shitty person recently, and this is how I found out. I was supposed to give a friend of mine a ride to the airport last Thanksgiving so she could spend the holidays with her family, and uh, I forgot. I just forgot to do it. Don't have an excuse. I just had my regular morning of watching three episodes of Friday Night Lights with a gun in my mouth, and... Uh, Turned my phone off, took a nap, prayed to wake up to a world on fire. So it was a Tuesday. And um, I got up and just looked at my phone, 12 missed calls. Oh shit, I was supposed to be a person today. Whoops, <laughs> missed that boat. And then I get a text from her that says, missed my flight, FYI. That's not when I realized I was terrible. <laughs> The next moment when my thought was, you know, I hope that plane crashes and there are no survivors so that she won't be mad at me anymore. <laughs> That's when I realized I'm a terrible person. That's when it hit me. When I realized I would gladly trade the lives of 200 people, and let's face it, it's a holiday. Most of them are gonna be children and grandparents. I'd rather let them die confused, screaming, and so very far from their loved ones than to have it be awkward the next time I talk to Tracy. <laughs> That's the kind of piece of shit you're listening to, guys. I've been lied to. Kickstarter said they would make my screenplay. I'm still at $326. I can't make my screenplay with that. And I have fantastic ideas for screenplays, number one, about a ragtag group of white supremacists that are also skydivers. I call it extreme prejudice. Number two, about a ragtag group of radical Islamic jihadists who are also stand-up comedians. I obviously call it jihad because I'm not an idiot. But the beauty is in the tagline, even when they bomb, they kill. I mean, 
Thanks for the applause, but I know everything's moving a mile a minute these days. Attention spans, not what they used to. That's fine. You can't sit through an hour 30? Totally cool. I got reality show ideas coming out the wazer for your ass. Number one, it's called Am I Hot or Shot? America calls in, they vote. They decide whether or not you are sexually attractive. If America decides that you are sexually attractive, you are allowed to live. If not, you are murdered execution style in front of all your friends and loved ones. I actually have Jenny McCarthy on lock to host that right now. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna go farther than this room. I got another idea. It's about what I did four weekends ago. Sat on the ground like a dog, <laughs> ate microwave shrimp with my hands, and watched extra. It's called I Shouldn't Be Allowed to Vote. <laughs> I got one, I got one about my mom when I was inside of her. It's called I Didn't Care I Was Pregnant. <laughs> I just got these, <laughs> I'm just coming up with this crazy shit all the time, what can I say? Thank you for laughing at me. Flawless, flawless way to leave the stage. Today's Brock's birthday. My birthday was not too long ago. And uh, I gotta be honest with you, uh, not to bring the mood down, but um, my mom passed away in 2000, okay? And it, like, I love my mom. Like, I think about her every day. Like, she's behind a lot of decisions that I make to this day. And the thing is, do you want anything more heartbreaking than not having my mother with me, like, on my birthday? is knowing that if I was to talk to her via Ouija board, I would try to get off the Ouija board within 10 minutes. Because <laughs> it would be like this, it would just be like, uh-huh. Oh, wow, the afterlife sounds amazing. I gotta go. No, 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 what did grandma say? Well, she said, what? Oh, you know, you can't believe anything she says. She's crazy. I gotta go. Uh, someone just showed up. A friend. Yeah, it's a girl, but she's just a friend. No, she is very pretty, but she's just a friend. Mom, I'll settle down at some point. You should quit badgering me about it. I'll settle down at some point. I just haven't found the right one. For the umpteenth time, I'm not gay, so quit asking. I know it would be totally okay if I was gay, but I'm not, so you just keep on making it weird. Quick compare me to your friend's kids. Why don't you be like Carl's mom? See, it doesn't feel good, does it? Oh, stop it. You can't send me to my room. I pay rent. You're dead. I'm not throwing it in your face. I'm talking to you via Ouija board. You totally know that you're dead. And I just get mad and I slam the middle Bradley box on her. But then I feel really bad, so I want to send her flowers. But the only way I can send her flowers is by buying her flowers, let the flowers die, and let the flower angels get to her that way. 